what's going on y'all what is going on thank you for choosing once again to click on the channel thank you guys that have been liking sharing subscribing supporting the channel welcome all new subscribers welcome back everybody else that has been here since day one um yeah i most definitely took a break you guys it's been a lot going on in my own personal journey so i wanted to do um I didn't really want to pull no cards when I got on today. I just wanted to speak, you know, be moved out the way and let everything that needs to come out as far as, you know, what needs to be said, let it come out on my own end. So please, guys, only take what resonates. I'm only here to give it to you so you can have it. We're all stars in our own show. But this may or may not be for you. And it's crazy because y'all could be like, oh, she's been crying. Yeah, it probably sound like I have because these last few weeks I have been battling my own situations, making sure that I pick myself up, making sure that I'm not codependent on any anybody else's energy um, and learning my love lessons. Not just love lessons, but learning lessons of life, period. You know, accepting people for who they are, regardless if they've been trying to save face or, you know, move behind my back or move separately from where I've been trying to move to. Okay, but y'all see a lot of stuff has been going on. Um, I hope you guys have been good, doing good, way, way more better than good. Um, the battle has already been won, but it is, it is a fight on a daily Um to do better, to want better, to accept the truth, to live in that truth, and to move on your divine will, way, mission, and purpose. Okay, so I was just, um, wasn't necessarily channeling, but I got beauty is the beast. Okay, and that's confirmation because my neighbor just slammed their door. But beauty is the beast. A lot of us have been in relationships where you feel like maybe your, your counterpart or your significant other may have been... Um, who was coming against you, but being in the situations and the relationships that I have, I do know that there is a lot against certain people that are trying to do something different when it comes to not necessarily teaming up with somebody else, but just accepting somebody else, their flaws, um, their own personal missions, their relationship with God, and you guys coming together as one to do something different. Okay, so some of you could already be in relationships, whether it's a marriage, um, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's, you know, they say boyfriend or girlfriend, but that shit is out the window. But um, you could be with somebody. And I don't know why I heard get money tips. So maybe you're seeing a lot of different things changing because people have been in relationships with each other due to financial security or money or some type of, you know, business agreement. And I, you know, I don't pull up on everybody else's situations of business. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? So if you with somebody and y'all have that understanding of y'all together only to, you know, get these to get this money. Or, you know, make sure that you and your family is financially secure, then that is on you. But a lot of these relationships that were built on, you know, simply harvesting or, or taking from another person, you're going to see that those relationships are changing. Okay, and this goes back to my own personal fights that I have experienced because I already told y'all for the longest time I realized that I was a kept woman. My whole goal was to always have a family. You know, I didn't really come from a family that that formed those certain, you know, marriages or relationships. Um, I believe my great, 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 you know what I'm saying? This goes back in the day where they were still fighting, you know, the oppressor a whole another different way. And they was loving on each other and, you know, finding a way to not hate each other through the enemy's tricks and schemes. But, you know, more than likely you're going to see that the, the word love gets played with and a lot of people are using certain things as a way to make um, business relationships or agreement. And you got to have that agreement with the other party. You can't just come into it like, OK, I'm going to come up off this bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to come up off of her and get whatever I need. And then I'm dipping out in low key because God is making things happen for everybody to see that those certain things are not going to work like they used to. I mean, it wasn't nothing for a guy to, you know what I'm saying, pull up on a shorty, a, little, a, a younger chick or whatever, harvest her energy, probably make a way through life and get whatever they wanted. But now you're seeing that these certain people are having to deal with whatever 
heartbreak or pain that they cause certain people. And it goes both ways, okay? There's a lot of females that do the same thing. And I remember being on my certain little, you know, missions where I always felt like that it was always, you know, don't save her. She don't want to be saved. But I was one of the, you know, it's a candy shop. If I can't, you know, be all right with a couple of them, then you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing got to be too serious. But you'll start to see that you do require, you do acquire those ties to certain people or you do you know what I'm saying you might get to sleep with somebody and you're not really for them or they not for you but you know the sex is good so y'all he's busting you down and you like all right you know what I'm saying go about your business you go to work or whatever but you don't know that this person didn't call feelings and not only did that person catch feelings but the person that that person was sleeping with caught feelings and that person's behind your bush you know what I'm saying we we learn it to clear a lot of this stuff out and I think one of the big things that I am grateful for is that I'm a realistic, like, I don't want, I don't, if the, if the shit's what it is, then I rather know, you know what I'm saying? I don't want no facade in life. I don't want things to be sugar coated or, or covered up and, and, and pasted and shit to where I'm like, all right, you know what I'm saying? This is what it is when it really ain't. Okay. So continue to watch yourself when you in certain relationships. Like I said, I wasn't going to hop on and do a reading for a while because I have been fighting my own battles. I mean, it's just what it is. I pick myself up. My spirit team's always with me. You know, a, a lot of people have to, for some reason, be shown all the way to the end that, you know, fucking with you can get them their issue. Like, <laughs> fucking with you can get people their issue. And a lot of people have to go through the absolute most for they like, all right, let me leave this chick alone. Let, let, let me, you know what I'm saying, allow her to be who she's supposed to be. Let me allow her to bloom because some of these relationships have been like that. And I have seen a... um. It was like a little animation or whatever, but it was basically like, y'all know how it be when sometimes I might tell you, you know what I'm saying? All right. Somebody was sent in on you and this don't necessarily mean that, you know what I'm saying? An ex knew another ex and he was like, all right, she's an easy bust down. She's an easy ticket. She's an easy target. Let me go and turn you on to her. This could simply be the enemy, the spirit. Okay. The spirit also send somebody in on you. Like, has she learned her lesson? Is she going to, you know what I'm saying, keep fighting for some shit that is not realistic? Is she going to turn her back on her own personal mission or is she going to keep saving souls? You're going to see a lot of that going on right now. And it's crazy because it's like no matter what anybody does, like I'm going to press forward like I simply am. And yeah, it, yes, it hurts. The pain hurts. All of it hurts, you guys. It's it's no skipping steps. You know, you see people all the time, they hop on, they're like, hey, you know what I'm saying? But you, a lot of people don't realize, you know, even you faking the funk, you ain't going to be able to play funky for a long time. It, it's it's going to happen for maybe a couple weeks, a couple months, even a couple years. But eventually you're going to hold, you have to hold yourself accountable to what you have learned. What you have experienced is what's going to be your testimony. And your testimony is what's going to be real out here. I mean, it's just what it is. We can go all day and, and want, you know, surgeries or do drugs or have these sexual connections with certain people because it makes us feel good for just that, that simple moment. That's why it's a part of a, a, a stimuli. We get stimulated. We get, you know, we receive certain pleasure and we're like, all right, we're cool right now. You know what I'm saying? I can pick myself up for a second. But all that shit is going to be out the window. When certain people realize who they really are, what you've been fueling up with your energy unconsciously, you're going to see. And I've just been in here, you know what I'm saying, trying to straighten up and, you know, I'm going to cook a little small dinner because I'm not cooking for nobody but myself. But it's like, you know, at this point in time, I've, I've had a lot of realization in these past few weeks. And it was good for me to take a break off his channel because for some reason, a lot of people feel like, oh, she hopped on the channel because everybody, you know what I'm saying? Bitch, I was doing this years ago. Like I have, I have already experienced what I need to experience to know that it ain't what it is and what people want it to be or try to make it be. Um, for my age, I can't say I, I actually reached the level of wisdom that makes sense. And I'm able to interpret it the the level of wisdom simply because you know I, I was and I was in the streets for real you know a lot of people want to make it a, a fad or you know a trend to be oh, I get it out the mud now but did you really 
You know what I'm saying? Did you really get it out the mud? People putting dirt on you. You don't have nowhere to turn. It's a lot of people that have chose the bandwagon of, you know, oh, Jesus loves me and I love Jesus. and But you still receiving your gifts from the devil. Or you still receiving your gifts from a lower energy or in the con a consciousness of the dark or behind people's back or under keyboards or, or under the moon. You know, you're going to have to reveal yourself sooner or later. I don't know one person that actually ex ex accepted who they were in the light and in the dark and then was still able to be on the side of other people that, you know, they, they, they take pride in making people, you know, feel a certain type of way, whether they humiliating or they capitalizing off of them looking a certain type of way or, you know what I'm saying? You know how many times I had to hear, you know, bitch, pull your skirt down. Some of you know. Take the bonnet off. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Stop sleeping with this nigga. Like, a lot of people are going to have to experience what it really means to accept yourself in a wholeness that is going to, you know, bring about enemies that you ain't even know you had. I don't, you don't, you won't even know half the people um, that come for you. You know, and I, I was actually shocked finding out, you know, I'd rather have secured information. <laughs> I'd rather have the information where I know for a fact, okay, it, it's what it is. You know, we don't have to fake shit. We don't have to fake anything. It was good for me to understand the certain things that I've experienced on a level that I do because, you know, I, I put myself on the front line for a lot of people that maybe didn't deserve my prayers or my, you know, my wants for better because the way I see it, I, it's not required for me to step on a, anybody's neck to get what I want. You know, I had to go through my own pain and it, 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 it did include, you know, hurting certain people because I wasn't who I was, you know, called to be or supposed to be at the time due to me being in my own darkness, my own depression, my own addictions, my own everything. But y'all just keep pressing forward, man. Like, none of this shit's a game. Um, people want to, you know, make it look all good and, and sugar it up for you. But I'm just going to let you know it's good for you to accept yourself for who you are. Accept the things that you've experienced. Accept your level of traumas. You know, don't let, you know, the word sin or anything keep you from knowing the glory of God or knowing who God really is or what can be done within your life. Life is meant to be beautiful. Abundantly beautiful. And it doesn't, you know, necessarily mean material items. It just means your life will be on another level of beauty in abundance if you accept things for what they really are and accept people for who they are, who they really are. You know, some of you have been called to be judges and leaders and prophets and, you know, truth tellers and seekers. And, um, you know, the, the wisdom that you have is for you to use it. And it doesn't necessarily mean you have to use it publicly. I think a lot of people get that twisted because they like hopping on the, the bandwagon of, you know what I'm saying, coming on um, different platforms. But it's like, fuck, man, we're going to be who we're going to be regardless. You know, it's just all it is to it. And I had to accept myself because I'm like, you know, I have I have experienced different relationships where, you know, I had to be you know, the, the harder branch on the tree. Like I had to be able to get out and go get it. Um, find a way, make a way, make dinners out of nothing. Still beat my feet with holes in my shoes. Like a lot of women have experienced the same things I had. This is why it's always good for you to take something and, and make something out of it. Not necessarily trying to put yourself in certain people's shoes or compare your stories to where it doesn't make sense. Like, we don't dwell in confusion. It either is or it ain't. You know? Um, but I do got some words. I think I am going to pull a couple cards, but it's just, it's been on my mind heavy about seeing the certain things that I have. And this is why, you know, I go through the things that I go through because I was already accepted for my purpose and what I'm supposed to be doing. It didn't, it didn't, you know, basically require a man or um, 
a loving family or compassionate, supportive friends or, you know, a, a, a financial a blessing or breakthrough that provided security and none of that. I literally had to walk out with nothing, you know, thinking that things was what they were. And I found something greater than that. I literally found the whole of me. And people say it all the time, you know, you, 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 some people can t- tap into their dark side of being an empath or they can tap into their darker side, you know, to be able to fight some of the things. But I always knew I wasn't going to be one of them. Ch- I'm, you, you can't catch me casting nothing on nobody. You can't catch me wishing harm on nobody. Even those that did it, man, I let God do what he going to do. The, the, the importance of having the certain gifts or the certain rank or the certain spirit that you have do it does mean that you have to let certain things be you have to let it work how it's going to work you can't involve yourself with uh vice scripts on somebody's situation when god's going to do everything for you and the scary thing about it is our ancestors and our spirit guides and angels and stuff they real hit us you know, he said he coming with the wrath. He didn't say he was coming in making sure that everybody felt good about certain situations. Some of you got sent out two by two. Some of you got sent out solo dolo on your own personal personal missions. But it's like now's the time for us to believe in things that we're not seeing because I get in that same frame of mind where I'm like, all right, I'm working, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, guy. Why am I still, you know, under this this uh, thick ass cloth that was supposed to be ripped off me a long time ago but it's not always somebody else that's putting you know that covering on you sometimes it's yourself sometimes you could be afraid of having something more than what you asked for or being bigger than what you thought you were you know and I and I feel it because it, it be times I be like man fuck you know whoever whoever was paid bitch are you gonna do something or you gonna not like <laughs> who's supposed to be because like some of this shit gets real ignorant at times, and I be like, I don't want to be involved in anything that's not good for me or my my lineage or my generation. You know, a lot of people play a lot of games that I don't like playing. This is why I may pray and I'll let it go. You know, I don't I don't speak on you know everything about who I choose to allow to fight my battles, but it's like, it's, it's, it's to that point now where, you know, ain't no, ain't no had nothing. Everybody knows what's going on. People know who you are. People know what you're doing. People know what you've experienced. They know what you've been through. You know, these certain people, some people still have fear on, you know, what they supposed to be doing or how they actually are. So they ain't going, they're not going to assist you in anything. It's up to you. Okay. But I got some words, and I'm going to pull some cards. I am going to pull some cards, because you know what? I haven't pulled them in a minute, you know? But this is going to be beauty is the beast. You could literally be the beast yourself. you thinking it's it's the man you with or your counterpart. And a lot of us, you know, you beautiful, and you let your heart be played with. You let certain people come in and tell you things about yourself or what you should look like, what you should act like, what you should speak like, and all of that. But we was all perfectly made. We were all perfectly made. Um, and the sad thing about it is now that the times that we're living in, it could easily be manipulated into believing that we are not good enough or we are not worthy. Um, and I actually heard that the other day. You know what I'm saying? Some people going to tell you, you ain't worth it. Why? Why God choosing you? Why are you not there yet? Why everything that you experiencing ain't killed you? You know what I'm saying? Fuck. You were supposed to be dead a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? And the enemy can be in your household. It can be in your family. It can be friends. It can be coworkers. It can be everywhere. Anywhere that somebody chooses to be used because they have not done their own work. So don't, don't trust in anything outside yourself at this time. Don't trust in anybody that, you know, make it look good. But really, they ain't got no soul. Some of these people have not had any nourishment into their bones, their body, their soul, or nothing. But they want you to be... The chef was they plate. Do you see what I'm saying? They want you to deliver up whatever meal you have to offer because you are anointed. You are touched by God. You do know who God is, and you do know that God resides in you. Um, you know, just be the chef of your own meal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> cook your own plate. That's why I said, you know, even today, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to cook me a little meal for me, and I ain't going to spend no more money. 
You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to keep putting money in the pockets of somebody else, and that's hard-earned money. We all know YouTube's still playing, you know. My shit been monetized for a long time, and they, you know, these certain people that whether they work within YouTube or there's certain, you know, personal people that choose to come through, you know, people that could be connected to me on my phone, a lot of people playing. But I think they, you know, expected me to fall. They expected me to give up or curse God and all that. But it's like, why? For what? I didn't, I didn't already see the miraculous wonders and workings. What am I going to go back for? What I want to put the glasses back on for? Why I want to step back into the dark? I already know it. I already know the dark. Why would I want to go back there? There's nothing that you can do that could poison the way that I feel about not only who I am, but who loves me. You know, and a lot of times some of you could be experiencing that lonely. You could be experiencing the lonely feeling because it does get lonely to the point where you like, all right, there is nothing physical or nothing tangible that I have right now that I can touch. You know, reach out and touch somebody's hand. Who hand am I going to touch? When everybody got their hand dirty, everybody's stirring a pot behind your back. You may feel like that there's nobody there, but it's always somebody that's working and fighting for you. Whether that person's in the actual spiritual realm or this person is, you know what I'm saying, of your spirit team, of your ancestors, those that were before you. I think a lot of people get it twisted because they're like ancestors, ancestors. They use the word, but they don't really know. These are the ones that was before you, that paved the way. They actually knew how hard it was and, and, and the things that they experienced. It's nothing near what we have. I mean, a lot of people can't say that they had to go through the things that those before us had to. The same ones was, they was experiencing things that, you know, we, we couldn't even touch or understand. And now we have a better understanding. We have wisdom. We have knowledge at our fingertips. We have, um, you know, certain things that we know for sure within ourselves. We see things. A lot of these children that are coming out, they're being born, you know, with their gifts. They're being born, already awakened to the mission that God has had because it's always been a battle for souls. It's always been a battle for, you know, some like to say wrong or right or dark or light or whatever. But the balance has not been happening for a while, and you're seeing that it's going to have to. In order for a lot of people to survive, they're going to have to figure it out. They're going to have to find a balance, you know? And a lot of people felt like, you know, it may have took another counterpart, but what if it don't? What if it's simply you? You've been waiting on a man. You've been waiting on a woman. You've been waiting on a friend. You've been waiting on a relationship or a, a, a family member to come say, I'm sorry, but ain't nobody going to pull you out the dungeon but yourself. That darkness that anybody has been in, ain't nobody going to reach back and be like, all right, bro. So once again, I hope a lot of you, even through, you know, these different cycles and these phases, um, cleaning out what you you cleaning out, you are starting to see that, you know, it's not going to take something outside yourself. There's no need to jump to conclusions. Um, I don't know why I'm picking up a lot of people are even trying to jump into third parties. You know what I'm saying? This is almost like, all right, he going to keep on, he going to keep on cheating behind my back. So let me go ahead and allow him to do it. And me and the bitch, we know we'll find a way to get along. No, bitch. I don't want y'all take it and y'all keep it amongst yourself. Do you see what I'm saying? Did, did we not just say beauty is the beast? It's not beauty in the beast. It's beauty is the beast. A lot of these women out here, we already know what's going on. We have experienced levels of trauma and pain for so long that we know what the tactics of the enemy are. A lot of women were just in relationship these last few years to see, you know, are you going to give up on God? Are you going to turn dark? Are you going to turn your own, pe own your own people? Are you going to throw them under the bus for some money or a new bag or a trip or a new body? You seeing what's going on. It's no big secret. This is why when I look at people on a daily and I look them in their face and they eyes. Because that's one thing. If somebody can't look you in your face and in your eyes and tell you some shit, uh, more than likely... They realizing that they ain't going to be able to get away with whatever they already had planned two, three, four, five, six months ago. <laughs> like, seriously? Yeah. Like, let's let's be real about it. We're going to talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't going to keep scribbling through life. I don't want to scribble no more. You know what I'm saying? My lines was crooked a long time ago. I 
scribbled a long time ago. If a bitch want to make shit straight, get it straightened, and start straightening some things, then it's, it's allowed for me because it's within my energy signature. It's within my signature, not yours. You cannot forge that. It don't even matter how many forged documents there are, what people choose to do. They cannot forge who you actually are. They cannot forge who is within you or what works within you. Your body, your mind, your time, your hands, your feet, your everything is going to be what, you know, get thing, get, gets things moving. Yeah, they've been under the underground for so long. Everybody should look like humpbacks. Like, this is like literally the hills have asses way. This is way past that. Some people have already, they experiencing a level of damage within their brain that they are still functioning a certain level thinking that the things that they do against certain people will work. Um, and I was thinking about it the other day because it's like some people will go like to the end. Y'all remember in the last videos, I'm like, all right, you got the ones that's going, you know what I'm saying? At the last minute, be like, damn. It didn't work. So let me just go on and, you know, I'm on this person's side now. It don't matter. God has already seen all. He feels the heart within your heart. If you have been doing anything for seven months, in the last three, you want to hop over like, I, right, you know, let me go on and, 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 and give whoever this is my time and show them that I really care because I was being manipulated. You still have debt that you have to clear out. Trust me, I had to experience it my damn self. But it's like, I'm not getting ready to take nobody else's. <laughs> Everybody got to pay their own. Swipe your own card, buddy. You know what I'm saying? You got to swipe your own card for your spiritual debt. You're going to have to do what you need to do. I ain't trying to burn my ribs either, but I, yeah, like, come on now. Your brain, your mental, your psyche... This is what you should be focusing on right now because a lot of people want to damage you simply because they feel like you may consider yourself, you know, another level, high and mighty, or this or that. And really you are, spiritually. But they don't want to accept that because they know what you've already experienced along your journey. They know what they were sent to do. They know what they've done to you. They know everything. Okay, so this is why a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, your own enemies is going to be right around you, closer than you ever thought. And that's crazy. It says you was crafted in the cosmos on behalf of the mother. Okay? This is, a, once again, the feminine energy that the whole time you believe in that you with the beast and you are the beast. That is your dark empath energy. Some of them even like to call it the lily of energy, but I don't believe none of it's dark unless it's made that way and then it sits in that. Do you see what I'm saying? All of us have been through things and been like, you know what, fuck this shit, and then you want to sit and have an attitude for the whole day. But that is a decision. That is a decision that you have made. Ultimately, it's still your decision if you're going to sit in this darkness. I don't know why his brain damage keep coming up. Okay, so I don't know if you've been experiencing something. We also getting like tapes and videos. And I had to think about that too. It's like a lot of shit, you know, people might, you know, harvest off your energy, whether it's sexually or whether it's seeing you do things, um, go through life. Um, I know one of them, I forgot the movie, y'all. But it, in this movie, 